Welcome back, everybody. We're back together here with another video, and we're going to be talking about this very, very famous creator of Watchmen here, Alan Moore. I mean, the virtue signaling ever since uh, 2020, it has not stopped it seeing. Um, I thought that BLM was a was a scheme, right? Yeah. How much money did BLM uh, raise in 2020? Like 90 million dollars or something like that? Yeah, something like that. And they lost it. Yeah. What, what did they actually do with that money? They did just like, hire a bunch of people that doesn't know what they are doing. Yeah, they sent a job. lot of that money to like LGBT activist groups and things like that. And by the way, they bought millions of dollars in mansions and the black community got nothing. It was a scheme. People got duped. And... um they are pretty much bankrupt now. It was a corrupt organization. It always was. And people that gave their money away to BLM. Hey, you got scam. But this guy right here, Alan Moore. He doesn't want any, any of his royalty checks. I mean, man, if you don't want your royalty checks, just just send it to me. He wants to give his money to BLM. Well, why doesn't he send it to like. People who are really in need. You know? I, I don't. Well, this is a virtue signal. He's virtue signaling. He truly. I mean, is he dead serious on this? Let, let's look at this. Comic book writer Alan Moore, the creative force behind Watchmen, V for Vendetta and other titles, has revealed that he no longer accepts royalty checks from DC Comics for movies and TV series based on his words. Instead, he has asked his checks be sent to Black Lives Matter. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't know he hadn't seen the accounting books of BLM. They're broke. They spent all that money on a bunch of nothing. They filed bankruptcy, right? I don't think they filed bankruptcy yet, but they're definitely in the red. But technically, they are bankrupt. They're bankrupt. It's a corrupt communist organization. Alan Moore made the revelation in an interview this week with The Telegraph. The British newspaper asked Moore about reports of his taking the money he makes from Hollywood and dividing it among other creators. Quote, I no longer wish it to even be shared with them. I don't really feel with the recent films that they have stood by what I assume were their original principles, he said. So I asked for DC Comics to send all of the money from any future TV series or films to Black Lives Matter. I'm going to stop you right there before you even get to it. DC Comics? Mm -hmm. Of The Flash? I don't think there's going to be any royalties from, the, from like The Flash. I don't know if he was involved with that, but um, DC, they've lost a lot of money. So I don't even know if there is any royalties to tell you the truth. Man. Moore said he isn't particularly interested in money anyways and enjoys his relatively quiet life in England. Uh, quote, Northampton's perfect for me. The town is a ruinous dump, but its essence is not just his present circumstances. It's the immense history that has accumulated here. And which feeds his character, he said. The energy of the people here is wonderful. Boy. Now, DC Comics ain't really making money. They've been pushing a lot of woke garbage out there. So I don't know if there's going to be any royalties, to tell you the truth. Well, if there is, like, he doesn't want it anyway. Yeah. And send it to Black Lives Matter. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. A dumpster fire. Look here. As Breitbart News reported, 2022 tax documents show BLM appeared headed towards insolvency with an $8.5 million deficit after blowing through two thirds of the $90 million raised since the summer rise of 2020 that lay waste to numerous cities across the country. Yeah, they raised $90 million, but the damage to all these cities was like $2 billion. While everybody else is losing money, they actually raise money and they dupe people. 
And now he wants he wants to give his royalties to um to Black Lives Matter, really? I mean, what do black people really think of Black Lives Matter when Black Lives Matter, the organization, didn't help any of the black people? It didn't help anybody. And their 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 chapters, the smaller chapters were asking, like, where's the money? I think one chapter got like a grand total of five hundred bucks. And that was it. All that other money got spent among um, like friends and family members of the BLM founders. And um, Patrice Cullors, who's one of the founders, stepped down because she got exposed. She's living pretty nice over there. She has like a um, multi-million dollar mansion in L.A. right now in a white neighborhood. Yeah. Hmm. Far away from black people. People got duped. And maybe maybe Alan Moore is still in that mindset of. I feel like I'm helping black lives by giving to Black Lives Matter. There's no money for BLM. There's nothing. Why would you waste? Well, not even waste. Why would you just give your money to them? That is a waste. I don't know how much he was actually getting royalties. I don't. But man, can we really take him serious on this? Well, don't does he think that you know giving money because of um, the history of slavery in America that he feel guilt? Well, he he's in the UK. Well, I mean, the, there, there the, is there's a BLM over there as well. Oh yeah, but but still, like he feel that. Black people were treated unequally in UK. I don't know what he's thinking, but he he, he he can't believe what he's saying. He has to know that the BLM scam is up. The trust level in BLM, that was a poll, is way down now. Or maybe does he think that, you know, there are some people who have some myth thinking that you know, donate to like the oppressed group or, or certain organization, they can buy their way yeah. to heaven or something like that. Yeah, probably so. I mean, he probably has that white guilt. White guilt. That's all it is. Virtue signal. I mean, has he actually truly given up his money? I'm curious about that. I don't know. But there's also a myth where, like, you know, some people really think that you can. Donate money or use money to buy yourself a place in heaven yeah. or something like that. So <laughs> Newsflash, she can't buy your way to heaven. No. No. I don't know, but he's probably he probably doesn't believe in heaven since he's actually donating to a communist organization that doesn't believe in God. No. Their mission was to destroy the nuclear family. It was on their website. So, yeah. Ridiculous. I ain't got nothing else to say about this. I mean, this dude. Do you think that like sometimes it's silly when like you know you think of skin color and when you know, for example, if I'm on a dead bed and I wouldn't be thinking about skin color that will get me to heaven. It's about like what yeah. I did, you know, because. In the Bible, it says God judged people according to their action. Yeah. God, their God doesn't care color. about your skin color. So, like, if I die, I mean, God is not going to judge me if I'm going to heaven or yeah. not based on my skin color. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I highly doubt he even believes in God, to tell you the truth. When you start virtue sitting like this, wanting to give your money to an anti-God God organization, I highly doubt that he believes in God or heaven. So, yeah. Uh, well, I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. We'll be back tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe. Goodbye.